me out a few years back with Ken Griffey Sr. Said Larkin, he would tell me you're going to be old one day. You know, when all the little things catch up with you. Thursday, Larkin officially became a senior citizen. Yes, the 39-year-old red shortstop went back on the DL Thursday. This time, it's a strain to the right calf. Larkin just came off the DL two weeks ago with a strain of his other calf. Larkin, a spectator, as the Reds were in Atlanta. Ryan Dempster, 1-7 in his career against the Braves. Top of the third, two out, we're tied. Robert Fick. His only hit of the game goes the opposite way. It's a double. Felipe Lopez makes the cutoff, but then Lopez, for some reason, hesitates, and that allows the fastest player in the universe, Andrew Jones, to beat the throw. He who hesitates is lost. He could have gotten out of the inning. Braves lead 4-2. The very next batter. Would it cost him? You better believe it. Javi Lopez. All Lopez has done in this game. He had two homers and a triple in his first three at bats. His 14th multi-homer game. Dempster tell Lopez how he feels about his hesitation. And then uh, Dempster would, uh, after allowing nine runs and 11 hits, grab a bat and uh, redecorate the clubhouse, we assume. The rubber game between the Phils and the Mets. Vicente Padilla on the hill at Shea. Bottom one, one out, one on. Cliff Floyd, that's sharp. We freeze it. Take a look at Floyd out of the box. He's barely running to first. The guy's been playing hurt most of the year. Thomas Perez bobbles the ball. Floyd might have been saved, but he was thrown out at first. Jeff Duncan scores 2-0. Same score, two outs, two on for Thomas Perez. Perez puts it out there. It gets through to Floyd, who Floyd gets the ball. Now, just as Pat Burrell is rounding third, we got the circle there, Floyd chooses not to throw home, and he just kind of lofts it lazily to third. Burrell is safe. The Phillies are on the board. Hmm. And then two outs for Floyd. Well, he does some damage with a stick. Tying the game at three, trying to make up for his uh, bumps and bruises. Floyd's 10th home run of the year. Bottom six, still tied. Two on, two out for Timo Perez. Pinch hitting, and he's money. That has scored two runs, and the Mets find a way to win this game. Back-to-back -back wins over the Phils, this time by the score of 6-3. to three. A couple of highlights from the Marlins and Expos. Expos, 12 doubles in the first two games of the series. Well, you know they say, everything starts with two. Bottom second, no score base is chucked. And Andy Chavez. Hey, start the merry-go-round. That's another two-bagger. Three runners would score. The Spos crank out four more doubles. That's 16 for the series. They get eight runs in this one as well. Marlins just had two, so the Expos win. Rockies Dodgers afternoon game in LA, so you can bet it finished up in less than three hours. Darren Dreifert. Oh, painting the corner against Jose Hernandez. Struck out the side in the first. Dodger starter 6-0 during their current six-game win streak. Dreifert then strikes out pitcher Aaron Cook, but that gets away, so down to first he goes. But Dreifert struck out six guys. A couple batters later, Dreifert's pitch is low. He's going. David Ross throws down, but that's it. Our man walks off, Greg Norton, because he struck out. There you see the throws away, and finally the ump goes, ring him up. Dreifert gets seven Ks in two innings. That is a big league first ever at 12 in the game. This is not a first. Eric Gagne getting another save. He has six saves and six consecutive Dodger wins, 18 on the year. Angels reliever Brendan Donnelly has not allowed an earned run this season. It's either really good or really bad when we point that kind of stuff out. And in this case, it's bad. Top 8 4 2 Angels. Jay Gibbons bloops a single. Donnelly gives up the first earned run in 21 appearances a season. 4 3. The birds draw closer. Now, bottom eight. One out. Runners on first and second. Benji Molina grounds into the 4 6 3. Brian Roberts. Very nice starting it there. And then, hey, he's going to get a turn at bat in the ninth with the bases chucked against Troy Percival, who has never given up a grand slam homer in his big league career. Whoa, sorry about that. Roberts has his first career grand slam, first homer since June of 2002, and the Orioles come back. Take that, you monkey. 7-4. D-Rays in Texas. Lou gets hot. D-Rays were up 2-1 to one when this happened in the fourth. Javier Valentin, good contact. That's going in the corner. It sure does have a chance. It goes off the wall and bounces into the stands. The first base up. Tim Welke says it's a double. Now, Lou Pinella comes out, and he doesn't agree with the call. He thinks it should have been a homer. We need another look, and we need it now. The ball goes off the lower part of the fence, as you see, way below the yellow line. Uh, but Pinella decides to take another look himself and actually walks down to the fence. Pinella managing his 2,500th game, 26th all-time, argues a bit, but the call stands. Meanwhile, let's go back to the game. Tied at eight, not anymore. Alex Rodriguez, his 13th home run of the year. Texas leads the majors in homers this year with 75. Bucks Rangers have won six straight.
Tigers and Indians, top of the six. Dimitri Young pinch hitting, facing Terry Mulholland with the bags full. Young up the middle. That'll score two. Ramon Santiago and Bobby Higginson come on down to tie it at two. But we're on to extra innings suddenly. Top of the 11th. The winning run at third. Eric Munson facing Jason Phillips. Fly ball. Is it deep enough to bring on in Monroe? Monroe will tag up. Why not? Milton Bradley, his throw to the plate. Not even close. Congratulations, Detroit. You've reached double figures in wins with 10. And we're negative, so Roger Clemens, as scheduled, will try to win his 300th game against the Red Sox. Meantime, five-time All-Star Bernie Williams, well, he's going to be just watching. Word came Thursday, the Yanks center fielder has been playing with torn cartilage in his left knee. Doctors are recommending surgery that's going to sideline him four to six weeks. Yanks with the first of four in Toronto. Charles Gibson in for Bernie at center, top of the first, no score, two men on. Carlos Delgado. He's built for this. His 14th home run of the year. It's 3 0 Toronto. That one coming off of Andy Pettit. Top of the third. Jay's up 4 1 now. Man on first for Delgado. Uh oh. Delgado with a magic stick. His 33rd career multi homer game. He leads the AL this year with 15 homers at 6 1. Top of the fourth. Pettit's still in there and he's dealing to Chris Woodward. Woodward is only hit of the game. Gibson. Oh well. Fair decision making there. A leadoff triple for Woodward. He's hitting 268. Pettit allowed seven runs, nine hits, and three and two thirds. Top of the seventh, Dave Berg with a contact. Gibson again. He's charging. He's charging. Put the money in the bag. Great catch for Gibson. It's a Sports Center top ten nominee with good reason as he lays out Roy Halladay winning his fifth straight start. Pettit loses his career worst four straight decision. Twins and A's under God's own sunshine. Oh, there's Tory Hunter. Of course, you remember Wednesday, Hunter getting out there making the great diving catch in center field, which is routine for him. Back Thursday, bottom third, Hunter actually having troubles in the outfield. That's off Eric Chavez over his head. Hey, you know what? I'm sure there were days when Olivier just didn't want to act either. Hunter, not so good there. Chris Singleton, Scott Hatterberg scores. Chavez, the triple A's lead 3-2. But Hunter with the bases loaded in the fourth. Yeah, Olivier couldn't hit. Hunter, single to left field. How do you Guzman know? scores. Twins lead 5-3. I'm watching play. 6-5. Twins win. Every day, Eddie. 12 save. Royals routed the Mariners on Wednesday night. Six homers. Each row looking to run his hitting streak to 13 games. And he would. He was 2-4. for four, A couple of runs scored in a steal. Raising his career May average to 400. Look at the stats there since he's been a big leaguer. Loves the merry, merry month of. 425 this season. Goodness. Well, we go to the bottom of the seventh. Mariners lead 2 1. They got other hitters. Ben Davis not bunting here. The solo home run to left center, his fourth of the season. Mariners going to win this thing 5 to 1. They are now 12 0 in day games, 18 and 16 tonight. Cool holes. We flash back to Wednesday. What happened on Wednesday? This is what happened on Wednesday. Homer by Pool Holes. And for the video, baseball fans go wild. Just pay $19.95. If you call now, Kane not included in your deal. Back to Thursday, pool holes. Hey, there's a homer. Opposite way. That one off of Jeremy Robertson. He's 14th homer, fifth homer in the last six games. What about the fans? A little calmer in Houston for the moment. We're tied in the third. Two out, Jeff Kent. Two for three, two RBI. That's deep. Off the glove of a leaping Orlando Palmero. Billy Wagner, by the way, is 12th save and 13 chances in the Astros 5-2 victory. Cubs in Pittsburgh looking to end a three-game skid. Cubs six and four since Sammy Sosa was put on the DL. Chris Benson, the pitch. Eric Carroll's hits it deep. Is this a home run, I ask you? Well, let's check out Eric Carroll's. He rounds the bases like it is. Benson, well, on the mound, he doesn't think so. Neither does Aramis Ramirez, and he tells Jim Reynolds that. Reynolds tells Lloyd McClendon, I know, hold on a minute. Reynolds lets the rest of the umpires know it was foul. Watch Karras on the replay. After the hit, he initially headed back before rounding the bases. So what's the final verdict? Foul ball. Uh, Karras would strike out. The pitch by Benson, Corey Patterson, looking for space, finds it. Reggie Sanders comes up throwing. Wendell Kim sending Matt Clement in, but he is out. Not even close. Clement, three for three in the game. He's just not fast. Coming into the game, Tom Goodwin, by the way, 0 for 7 since Sosa's injury, 2 for 4 in the game so far. Why do we say this? 
This is why. Goodwin, good night. A solo home run, his first homer since July 21st of 2002. The Cubs stop their skid and win 3-2. Cup skipper Dusty Baker has targeted June 1st against the Astros as the tentative return date for Sammy Sosa, who's been on the DL with a banged up right big toe. He's currently being fitted for protective shoes and is slated to start swinging a bat this weekend. Plus $90 million. Probably. Mm.